Start you can see, Sir, as you, from Sirius, you can see D2 hovering over this um, pool of life in the otherwise empty, largely empty sediment. Of course, there's organisms in the sediment as well, but the pool looks to be a good nine feet across. And back there's a squat lobster there. Colonial anemones, all those little white polyps. It seems like there's a lot of mussels around. It's difficult to see where Oh, I didn't even notice those in this bush. The, uh, it's hard to see where they enter the sediment because these mussels are sort of in the way. Oh, no, so if, so above this, um, yeah. there was a, if you zoom out, like, yeah, continue to zoom out. Just above, yes, yeah, so you can see um, there's an area where these, the tube rooms appear uh, to yes. go into the... The little yeah, coil, those uh, area of coil tubes just to the upper yeah, right. Take another second here and then there I can you go. Yeah, go look at that. That's perfect. So you can see how much the tubes of these Amelibrachia narrow and then go down into the sediment. Uh, Eric Cordes noticed, uh, uh, I'm not sure we can see it here, um, on the tips of some of the tube worms, he, found, he saw black, uh, small, um, blood-sucking polychaetes. Uh, Eric, what family are those in? Those little blood-sucking polychaetes. I did not know that was a thing. That's so interesting and disgusting at the same time. <laughs> the, the, you can see the tube of that palp worm, that ketopterid, uh, lays down growth rings at intervals. Just amazing. This Hi, everybody. You got a great view of an albino carrot shrimp, too. Hey, Mary. So that's Mary Wixon. She's joining us from Texas A&M, and she is an arthropod expert, but specifically with shrimp. So, Mary, do you think this is albino carrot miracola? It could be, but the trouble is that you identify them by the number of teeth on the rostrum, and that's really hard to see. Yeah. And what would be the other species if not albino carrot? Do you know? There's one called Alvinocaris lusca. Mm. Okay, thank you, Mary. Okay, Pilot, if we can get a those funny pincers. look at that. Uh, they use their pincers like a spoon. Yep. So what exactly would they be eating, Mary, with that spoon-like... Uh, just get a little feeding mechanism. Bacterial pudding. Mm-mm. Sounds delicious. 